Today in Grand Rapids, hundreds gathered for a walk to end Alzheimer's. More than 6 million Americans live with the disease, and that's expected to double in the next 25 years. 13 on your side's Justin Bachman spoke to the walk's leading fundraisers and tells us why this year was harder than before. It says, Carolyn, for my love, love you. And then mine says, for mom. The different colors of petals here in the flower garden represent relationships with Alzheimer's. Ann and Howard picked up yellow for years because of the battle that Ann's mom was fighting. This is our first year choosing a purple flower. Um, purple means that you've lost someone to the disease. Ann drove from Minneapolis to be here. Her brother came in from Connecticut. We drove uh, 10 hours on Thursday to get here and make sure that we could be here to walk with my dad for my mom. Their family started going to walk six years ago when Howard was acting as caregiver to his wife. Anne says the first walk gave her dad the strength he needed to carry on. My dad turned to my sister Karen and said, I didn't know this many people cared about this disease. I felt so alone. And here is a whole park full of people who care about me and mom and this disease. With hundreds of walkers. Thanks for fighting. Support is what the day is all about. They're acknowledging it. It is an issue. This isn't something that's going to be swept under the rug anymore. This is something that people are caring about more than ever before and coming to support. Shattering the fundraising goal and bringing in more than $270,000, this year's walk is a record setter, giving funds to both the search for a cure and support for those fighting Alzheimer's disease every day. People of all walks of life are coming together to unite to support for this mission, this cause of a vision of a world without Alzheimer's. That's why we're here, to give ourselves hope, but to also provide hope for other people. Organizers say the ultimate goal is to add a white flower to this garden, representing the first survivors of Alzheimer's disease. For more information on how you can contribute or links to research, you can find that in the web version of this story at 13onyourside.com. Reporting from Monopoly Park, I'm Justin Bachman, 13 on your side.